What's up guys? Tony Regan here and it's time to throw down with another cool little twist on those Easter treats deviled eggs. This time around I'm going to be making some Mexican street corn deviled eggs. And you know exactly what these are don't you? That's right. These are awesome. So let's just go and get started and jump right into this one. Remember guys, if you love all the cool content I'm putting out here, the easiest way to make sure it keeps on rolling and help it grow is just to hit like and share on this video, drop a comment down below, then go ahead and subscribe and share my YouTube channel. That way you'll get really cool recipes every Monday and Friday like these Mexican street corn deviled eggs, which to start I made the perfect hard boiled egg. How do you do that? It's simple. Go ahead and put your eggs in a pot and cover them with cold water. You want that water about an inch above the eggs, then just go ahead and bring that water to a boil. Once it's boiling, let those eggs rest in that hot water for about 10 minutes. Then move them over to some ice water for 10 minutes. And then peel them and we're ready to move on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, cut all my eggs in half, put the yolks in a bowl, Once I have all my yolks in a bowl, I'll add some mayonnaise, a little bit of Worcestershire, some feta cheese, salt and pepper, and then I'll mix this all together. Now I totally forgot to tell you guys, add a, some mustard and a little bit of Tabasco. Once we're done mixing up that filling, I'm going to go ahead and make the garnish for this one. I've got a little bit of oil heating up in a pan, and I'll go ahead and start roasting some corn in there. While that's heating up, I'm going to finely dice a little bit of red onion. Then I'm going to go ahead and dice up a little cilantro, and when my corn is done, I'll mix the cilantro, the onion, and the corn together. <laughs> and there you guys go. Once that corn had a little bit of char on it, I, like I said, I mix it with the onions, the cilantro, I put a little chili powder on this bad boy, and it is done. But you know, I can't just look at this. I gotta go ahead, dig in, and give it a try. This is freaking amazing. A cool little twist on an Easter classic I know you guys are gonna love. So go ahead, like, share, comment on the video down below. If you need complete printable step-by-step -step instructions, check out AverageGuyGourmet.com. Go over to my Patreon. Consider <laughs> subscribing for $1. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this one a try, and we'll see you guys next time.